All right, today is January 25. Um, still gonna go over a couple um, charts. I guess I'm gonna start with today's chart. Uh, so yesterday, um, pretty choppy day, and then today we started kind of on the low low side. But then after about an hour and a half of choppiness, we can see that there was a breakout right here above the SMA with a slight pullback here that's on low volume. So that would have been a good entry point. Um, and then we see here another good entry point here. Uh, oh, actually, let's take a look at the one minute chart too, since now we have one minute chart to look at. So we see the breakout here from this little wedge formation testing the low the higher um after breakout you tested the upper limit of the wedge and also the SMA and kept going up so that was a good entry point and here as well I think it's more clear on the five minutes yeah so we have a breakout here came back down kind of tested the, the lows of the consolidation and then we have a couple of dojis on low volume and then it was right above the SMA both SMAs and then we'll have uh, a breakout runaway afterwards and it pretty much lasted the whole day Every time it pulls back, we don't see anything that's very bearish. So it just kept going up. It's a crazy, um, crazy day. Any weakness got bought up. Only maybe like the last 40 minutes after this one drop, we see that um, just a couple of weak candles here. We'll have, we'll have a down trading for the last 40 minutes and then it got bought up again. So, very strong bullish day after kind of like a a day of kind of taking a break. I mean, on the daily, you can see that it gently touched the um, 9 SMA and then it pulled back with a nice green candle. So that was, that was today. Let's take a look back to, okay, so let's take a 23rd 
Well, let's look at the 20th and the 23rd. They're both very interesting. So the 20th, we are coming off of a cup and handle. Usually after that, we'll have a bullish run. So the 20th, nice straight up straight up move it only touched the 200 that's the 200 right uh, 100 920 yeah 50 100 this is a hundred so I touched the hundred here breakout touch a hundred one hour back up broke down nice bullish candles kept going up so and then I guess here it uh, kind of traded sideways just a little bit Continue to go up after a slight pull back to the 100. We see, see, yeah. So, on the five minute, we see a big hammer followed by a big red candle. The volume is low, followed by two inside greenish candles so we know that this um, bearishness is uh, doing well and we might keep going up so we see it here so kind of like a double bottom what I got it's more like a shoulder, I guess. Here it went back to up to the SMAs. And that would be probably a good place to go in. So we have a green candle. That's very strong. Yeah. Look at the volume of this green candle. So we know it's a good place to enter. This the green candle closed above the SMA line. So that would have been a good place to enter after kind of like a low pullback or consolidation more like. So and then after a nice green day the next day continued with the same action continue action from the prior day and uh, so we do see a little bit of topping off here after an hour and a half of going straight up so we see a little wedge forming here uh, 
after a break and then we'll have a breakdown I mean the RSI is lower than this one here and we we'll also have a breakdown so you could trade here maybe get in here after the um, after it broke the SMA and then we see a nice consolidation and then nice greenish ha hammer here with big volume Oh, I'm talking about the 30, 23rd. Yeah, so here. Nice big green candle on the five minute. And then on the one minute, we see a big green candle or a big green hammer here breaking out of all these so I will probably enter here or even on this candle And then kept going up. This finally a correction below the SMAs. Try to reverse, but couldn't. Nice reversal bars, green, red. Yeah. And then it went down, green and red. The side by side bars. Okay, what else? Um, oh, the 13th. Let's look at the 13th. Uh, price going up in the morning. Hits the high for of the previous day. Or well, actually, it hits the what is this called? The um, most volume traded most volume action here and then we see a reversal well first of all we have a big hammer here so good entry point usually you enter at the second entry here 
Mm -hmm. Nice, good bow trend. And then we see another kind of uh, long wick here after a pullback. Good place to enter. Now we see another pullback. You pull back down to the SMA and then try to break it back up, but couldn't. And then we can see that on five minute and also the one minute. We have a a nice shooting star here, and also this nice bearish bar. That's a good place to enter. So we can get this. Again, test the SMA again, but couldn't break it. After a bullish candle. And we'll go back down even more. And now we're hitting the 100 day. We see some sideways action. And then we'll have a big green candle closing above the SMA right here. After testing the lows multiple times, but couldn't break it. Well, this one broke, but it went back up, so. Good entry point, probably right here. After all the pullback, we see a nice small doji here. Probably correlates with this thing. Uh, so that's a good entry point here. Another good entry point. Sideways action, hitting the SMA. Break out above the SMA again. After it touches the SMA. I don't know about this one. This seems iffy. This entry point is good. Broke out, pull back. All right, that's it for the day.